Hello, this is Chris Allen, and I am going to go over my King Cobra FRQ. So one of my uh, favorite books as a kid was a book called Ricky Tikki Tabby, and it is a book about a mongoose. And obviously, if you're familiar with mongoose, they um, fight cobras, and cobras were um, actually my favorite reptile um, growing up and uh, still are. I, uh, I've actually been to a serpentarium more than once. Uh, the one that's my favorite is down in uh, North Carolina. Uh, there is a serpentarium, which is a snake museum, and haven't been there in a while, but pretty cool stuff. So anyways, the um, catalyst for me to want to do my free response question on this uh, cobra was this uh, childhood book Ricky Ticky Tabby and my uh, love of uh, snakes. So a couple of things about the King Cobra. This is my favorite snake. It's the world's longest venomous snake. They can get up to 18 feet long. I've actually seen one in person that was, I think, around 15 feet long. Uh, it's pretty impressive to see a snake that that's that long. They can weigh up to 26 pounds. So the setup for my problem was um, this is going to be calculator allowed. And uh, this is what I like to call the ugly equation problem. Uh, this is Brian Passwater, BP there. That's Brian Passwater down there. He's a calculus teacher at um, Speedway High School and he's a mentor of mine. And so he, he kind of coined the phrase, the ugly equation problem, FRQ. So here's the stem of my question. A king cobra is run over by a truck in India where it decomposes for zero to 20 minutes or um, days, sorry, T is in days. The amount of the snake that remains is modeled by the following function. The A of T, 5,875 times 0.8923 to the T power, where T is measured in grams and T is measured in days. So for question part A, question is find the average rate of change of A of T over the interval from zero to 20 and indicate the units of measure. So this is just an algebra skill. So whenever we're looking for average rate of change, um, we're basically just gonna use our slope formula, which is F of B minus F of A over B minus A. This is just gonna be a one point question with the correct units. And the correct units here, so you would use the, your graphing calculator to actually plug A of T into your Y1, and then you would just calculate, you know, A of 20 minus A of 0 over uh, 20 minus 0. And it turns out to be negative 263.676 grams per day. In other words, on average, that's how much weight in grams is decomposing um, from the snake each day. Question B. Find the value of A prime of eight. Use the correct units to interpret the meaning of the value in the context of this problem. So A of T is giving us the amount of decomposition that's occurring here, and we're trying to now find A prime of eight. So we're gonna use our calculator here to find the derivative. We're gonna give two points, one point for the answer and one point for the context. And in this particular example, once you've plugged A into uh, your Y sub one, you would then calculate y, the y um, derivative or a prime. And uh, it turns out that a prime of eight is negative 269.042 grams per day. So this is one point, is actually finding a prime of eight. And in the context of this particular problem, that means the amount of snake remaining on the road is decreasing at a rate of 269.042 grams per day at t equals eight days. So you need all of those components to get that second point. You need to talk about, it's, if you say decreasing, make sure you don't include the negative. Um, we need to put the, we already have the um, grams and days, so that's not a big deal, but you also need to mention specifically that t is during exactly day eight. Part C, find the time t for which the remaining amount of the snake in the road is equal to the average amount of snake on the, uh, on the interval zero to 20. So we want to, we want to find when the amount of remaining is equal to the average amount. So this one is also going to be out of two points. 
So what we need to do first is, and it doesn't, I guess, necessarily have to be first, but we, yeah, I guess it does need to be first. We want to find the average rate or the average weight, which we're going to use the average value um, integral, the average value of a function integral. So it's going to be 1 over 20 minus 0 integral from 0 to 20 of A of T. Again, I would just use my calculator to do that. That gives us 2,313.901, and that would be grams. That is the average weight. And we want to figure out when is the actual weight equal to the average rate. And so then what I would do is I would simply draw the line with my graphing calculator for y equals 2,313.901 and see where it intersects the A of T function. And it turns out that it intersects at 8.177 days. Question D. This is slide one. There's two slides on this one. Question D. Here's the question. For T greater than 20, L of T, this is the linear approximation of A at T equals 20, is better a better model for the amount of the snake remaining in the road. Use L of T to predict the time at which there will be 20 grams of snake remaining on the road. Show the work that leads to this answer. So there's the question. So this one's going to be out of four points. First point is you've got to find the linear uh, expression to uh, represent this, to model this. And so remember, L of T, uh, we're going to have to use our Y equals MX plus B. So our slope is this A prime of 20. And then we've got X minus 20. So that's, if you will, X minus X1. And then here's your Y1. So A prime of 20, so that's going to give us the slope. The slope for this linear approximation is going to be negative 68.541. A of 20, I would just plug that into my graphing calculator, and it turns out to be 601.486. Therefore, we get 601.486 minus 68.541 times the quantity T minus 20. 20 and we want to set that equal to 200 because that's what the question is asking us. And the result of this turns out to be 25.85 days. So this is going to be out of four points. Oops, went too far. So obviously there's going to be a point for the days. There's going to be a point for the equation. There's going to be a point for the y value and there's or the a of 20 and there's going to also be a point uh, for the a prime. So that's how you would score my free response problem, and that will be that.